And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can place a limit order using the Jupiter Swap. This video is not financial advice and is for educational purposes only. Always do your own research before ever using a decentralized swap, including the Jupiter Swap. Let's get into the video. Once you arrive on the Jupiter Swap, the first obvious step is to connect a wallet that you wish to use. You can do that by clicking right here on Connect Wallet, or you can do that by clicking up here, top right hand side, where it says Connect Wallet. Then in this pop-up window here, you can choose a wallet that you wish to connect to the platform. If you don't see all the different wallets, just click right here where it says More Wallets. And as you can see, there's plenty of different wallets that you can connect to Jupiter. Simply click on the wallet that you wish to use. For this tutorial, I'll be using the Phantom Wallet, so I'm going to go ahead and click right here on Phantom. And now my wallet is connected. But if it's your first time connecting your wallet to the platform, your wallet is going to drop down top right hand side of your screen and you'll have to sign authorization to connect the wallet to Jupiter. So inside your wallet, just simply click on confirm. Once you're connected to the platform, you'll be able to see your wallet address top right hand side of the screen. Mine's behind a black box. To place a limit order, we're going to come over here, make sure we're set to spot, then we'll click here on limit. And this will bring us over to the order form where we can place a limit order. So a limit order is going to give you the ability to choose a price point that you wish to place an order to buy an asset or a price point that you wish to place an order to sell an asset. But the price of the asset will need to reach your order price before your order is going to fill and execute the swap. So the first thing we need to do is choose the crypto that you wish to swap in this limit order by clicking right here. So in my case where it says USDC. Then choose the crypto that you wish to swap from this drop down menu here, or you can search for one in the search bar up above. I have a little bit of tether inside my phantom wallet, so I'm going to go ahead and click here on USDT. Next, choose the crypto that you wish to purchase with this limit order by clicking right here. So in my case where it says soul, then simply choose the crypto from this drop down menu that you wish to swap into, or once again, search for it in the search bar up above. I'm perfectly fine demonstrating with Solana, so I'm going to go ahead and just click right here on soul. Next, choose how much of the crypto that you wish to swap into the other crypto. And you'll be able to see your available balance right here. So you'll know exactly what you're working with. So you can put in a custom amount into this order, just like so. Or if you want to swap all of it, you can click here on max. Or if you want to swap half your balance, you can click here on half. So now what I need to do is I need to choose a price point to place this buy order for Solana. So let's come on over here to the chart. And just for the purposes of demonstration, let's imagine that I think the price of Solana is going to come down maybe somewhere around these two wicks right here. So what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and grab a horizontal drawing tool from the drawing tools over here on the left hand side. Now, if you don't see your drawing tools, you'll notice there's a little arrow down here. If I click on this arrow, it hides the drawing tools. But if I click on it again, it'll expand and reveal the drawing tools. So I'm going to come right up here to the trend line and I'm going to click on this tiny little arrow. It's going to expand into a drop down menu and I'll select horizontal line right here. Now I'm going to come over here to the chart and I'm going to mark the area on the chart that I wish to place this limit order. So that was these two wicks right here. So just like so. So now that I've put this horizontal on the chart, I can see a price point that correlates to those wicks on the Y axis coming in at 122.39. So what I'm going to do is come over to this box here where it says buy soul at rate and I'm going to type that price point in. So I'm going to go 122.39. So if the price of Solana comes down to 122.39, this order is going to fill and execute my swap. And as you can see, the amount of Solana I'll be receiving just updated to 0.15. Next, you can choose an expiration for your limit order. You can see an expiry right here that I have this set to never. So this means that my limit order is going to remain open until it either fills or I come back and manually cancel it. If you want to set a timeline for it, just click right here where it says never. And then you can choose a time limit on your limit order. If you want to set a custom time limit, just click here on custom. Then choose the time limit that you wish to use. I'm perfectly fine leaving this on never, so I'm going to leave this as it is. Once you get your limit order set up the way that you want it, you'd come down here and click on place limit order. Then your wallet's going to drop down and you can confirm the transaction. You can check over your network fee right here. So in my case, that's going to be not point not 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 one Solana, which is not a very high fee. And remember, the network fee is always paid for out of the native token that you hold inside your wallet. 
So in my case here, I'm placing this limit order on the Solana network in the Phantom Wallet. That means I need to have some Solana inside my Phantom Wallet in order to cover the transaction fees. The network fee is always paid for out of the native token for the network that you're using. So this looks perfectly fine to me. So I'm gonna come down here and click on confirm. And the limit order has now been placed. Once you place your limit order, you'll be able to see it down here below the chart. So you can see in my case here, that if the price of Solana was to come down to 122.39, this order is going to fill. I'll be swapping 18.86 Tether into 0.15 Solana. Now, if at any point you want to cancel the limit order, you just come over here on the right hand side. If you have multiple orders open, you want to cancel all of them. You can always click here on cancel all, or you can click on this little triangle and you can cancel each order individually. You can see cancel order option right here. So I'll go ahead and just give that a click. Wallet is going to drop down. You can see here that 18 tether is going to be returned to the wallet because it'll no longer be tied up in this order, as well as a little bit of Solana that would have been used to cover the fee had this order filled. But you will see that there is a network fee to remove the order. And once again, that is a very small amount of Solana. So no big deal to me, looks fine. I'm gonna come down here, click on confirm. Processing transaction. And now that limit order is closed. Now, if you still see your order down below the chart, just simply refresh the browser. Now, as you can see, that just removed that limit order. And there you have it. That's how you can use a limit order on the Jupiter swap. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Also, feel free to check out my other Jupiter swap tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.